welcome to my channel adhyan with flow let's start with our light reaction before starting with light reaction we have to clear two terms photosystem 1 and photosystem second what is the photosystem 1 and what is the photosystem second what is the function of photosystem 1 and what is the function of photosystem second yes they have huge function guys where they located they present on the thylakoid membrane yes yes they are located they are situated they are found at the membrane of thylakoid we know na guys this is the chloroplast and they contain coin like structure we call it as a thylakoids the set of thylakoids we can call it as a grana one thylakoid they contain here 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 photosystem 1 and photosystem second the other name of this photosystem are other name of this photosystem are photosystem second we call it as a p680 photochemical 680 because why 680 because they absorb this nm's wavelength light we can call it as a photosystem p700 why because this photosystem absorb this nm's wavelength light now we know that that our thylakoid our chloroplast contain thylakoid chloroplast contain what thylakoid and thylakoid contain what they contain photosystems 1 and photosystem second we can also call it as a photosystem 2 p700 and photosystem p680 they situated on thylakoids membranes what pigments they contain what kind of pigments they contain what are the things that present in photosystem guys what the, what what are the things what are the members they made photosystem that we know Le plant have leaves leaves have chloroplast chloroplast have thylakoid thylakoid have photosystem so definitely photosystem have something something let's explain here i made for you this is the photosystem second assume na guys and this is the photosystem 700 assume guys this is the p60 and this is the p700 these are in their inactive form in the absence of light they are inactive what they contain yes they contain photosynthetic pigments yeah they contain photosynthetic pigments guys and we previously completed that what are the photosynthetic pigments those pigments those molecule which are helpful in photosynthesis we call it as a photosynthetic pigments and the name of the photosynthetic pigments are what is the name of the photosynthesis yes chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c d e also carotenoids xanthophyll yes guys yes i said to you that chlorophyll a is most 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 compulsory photosynthetic pigment chlorophyll a is most important photosynthetic pigment this is the pho p60 photosystem second and this is the p700 photosystem first clear this term is clear they are situated on thylakoids membrane what they do yes i teach you before that sunlight comes with their multiple wave sequence here is sunlight yes as well as this also but pigments absorb their specific lights like this is the assume this is the carotenoids this is the xanthophyll this is the chlorophyll b chlorophyll b layer and other phycobilin layer and this is the chlorophyll a this is the center this is the center molecule this is not a one in number this is multiple in number this is not only 1 2 3 4 no 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 they are huge in number there is not a 1 2 3 pigments of carotenoids there are not a 1 2 3 pigments of xanthophyll no huge huge how can i draw this here understand try to understand this is not a one single chlorophyll a molecule huge guys how can i draw here huge amount of chlorophyll a so different wavelength of light come and expose this pigments they pigments absorb according to their light means if carotenes required only 500 nm light so they absorb only 500 nm light if this is 600 light if this is 500 light and this is 400 light so they absorb this much light so they absorb this wavelength of light so they absorb this wavelength of light low wavelength of light xanthophyll assume xanthophyll require 400 nm light so they absorb 400 nm light only if chlorophyll b they absorb highest nm light so they can absorb highest nm light but if we take a average of this photo system if we take a average of this system so this system excited when three uh, i repeat once again this photo system excited when 
680s wavelength of light embedded here this photo system excited when when 700 nm wavelength light exposed here this is the overall average of this photo system and this is the overall of the average of this photo system inside view keratinoid absorb according to their self xanthophyll absorb according to their self chlorophyll b absorb according to their absorption level all pigments have different different wavelength absorption potency they absorb high light they absorb less light they absorb lesser light so these photo system due to the light they excited if i provide 680 nm wavelength light then this photo system will excited i am star marking here i am star marking here if i provide 700 nm light then this photo system will excited this photo system will excited how they excited when this much light exposed here and this much light exposed here what they do what they do look at here guys now look at here this is the photo system this is the photo system okay now you can betterly visualize now so light exposed here here is pigment molecule it may be carotenoids yes guys it may be carotenoids it may be xanthophyll it may be phycobilin it may be chlorophyll b okay so light exposed here what they do now they absorb according to their light and they excited when they excited their electrons are also excited electrons are also excited when electron is excited then what happen with electro look at here this is the photon look at here this is light when electron is excited what happen with them due to excitation of electron the electron moves here to here here to here and they reach it at the center point here chlorophyll a is present this electron excited and this transfer to this electron means electron transfer electron excited and they transfer upward electron excited and they move upward electron excited and they move upward electron excited and they move upward and this electron excited and then they move upward means this electron excited and it's move upward this electron is excited and this move upward so all electron excited because due to this energy and they passes their energy towards the chlorophyll a towards the reaction center all look at here all due to energy all electron excited and they transduce their their energy all electron is excited all electron is excited and they transfer their energy towards the chlorophyll a when xanthophyll excited they pass their energy towards the chlorophyll a when chlorophyll b is excited they passes their energy towards the chlorophyll a here same same here if carotenoids excited they pass their energy towards the chlorophyll a when xanthophyll excited they pass their energy towards the chlorophyll a when chlorophyll b excited then they pass their energy towards the chlorophyll a then now this is the reaction center what is this this is the reaction center when this reaction center is activate they pass their energy they pass their energy from where they pass their energy towards the primary acceptor they collect all type of energy clear guys means chlorophyll a collect all the energy chlorophyll a collect all the energy and transport towards the primary acceptor means this is the carotenoid this is xanthophyll this is the chlorophyll b this is the carotenoid this is xanthophyll this is the chlorophyll b they collect their energy they collect their excitation energy and after activation they give their energy towards the primary acceptor so this is the role of photosystem so this is the role of photosystem and this is the role of these pigment after excitation they give energy and this energy gives towards reach towards the primary acceptor and this primary acceptor in future they produce atp guys so this is all about your photosystems now we complete all kind of photosystem photosystem 1 photosystem 2 we can call it as a photosystem p700 photosystem p680 we can also call it as a photosystem second and photosystem one guys look at here a single chlorophyll a molecule forms the reaction center only chlorophyll a located in reaction center rest rest of the molecule rest of the molecule they make antennae rest is easy rest of the molecule they make antennae and this is the chlorophyll a we can call it as a reaction center here i explain everything guys i explain everything how electron is transport in photosystem now photosystem passes their energy towards next molecule here look at here this is the 
photo system second look at here na guys this is the photo system second we can also call it as a p680 we can also call it as a p680 and this is the p700 and this is the p700 this center is made up with multiple multiple photosynthetic pigments we can call it as a antini this photo system is also made up with multiple photosynthetic pigments and we can call it as a antini and here is first what here is a reaction center and here is what here is reaction center and when this reaction center is activate they passes to their energy towards the electron acceptor who accept this energy when this photo system activate when this reaction center is activated they passes their energy their electron to the this electron acceptor how this is the 680 nm wavelength light and they take 700 nm light after exposing with this much light they activate and they pass their electron to the primary electron acceptor and they get activated when this much light embedded on this center their electron get excited and this electron acceptor get their all electrons and become activated when this photo system activated they pass their energy towards the electron transport system they pass their energy towards the electron transport system and this electron transport system activated when this electron acceptor gives them to energy after getting electron energy they also excited and they excited electron and this electron again passes towards the photo system 700 so this electron again contribute for excitation of reaction center and again this excited and this electron acceptor get the all kind of energy sun's energy this system energy and self energy and they transport towards the electron acceptor and become activated due to activation they convert they convert less energy form to high energy they gives us energy us no no us they produce energy produce energy for what making food making food guys means look at here this is the p60 680 they activate by getting electron they activate now they pass their electron towards the electron transport system system and they activate p700 when p700 activate they activate nadph energy form after getting light after getting light in this complex and this complex they form z scheme in this complex what happen one water molecule will break down and form two electron plus two hydrogen so this electrons participate in this transport electron more electron more hydrogen ions more atp clear guys this is the phenomena if we take two high water molecule then this break down into four electron four hydrogen ion more hydrogen ion more electron more atp more hydrogen ion more electron more atp so this is all about how a electron will transport a electron will transport where to where where to where look at here look at here photo system second make a sequence photo system second reaction center chlorophyll a absorb how much wavelength of light this much first step is photo system second absorb 680 nm wavelength of light now we can call it as a, this is the red light wavelength of red light causing electron to become excited and jump into the orbit farther from the atomic molecule these electron are picked by the electron acceptor look at here electron acceptor which passes them to electron transport system consisting cytochrome means they want to say that after exciting of photo system 1 the electron transport where to where towards the electron acceptor an electron acceptor pass their electron passes their electron towards the electron transport system okay look at here guys here electron transport system now next step is this movement of electron is downhill in the term of oxidation reduction of redox potential scale the electron are not used up as a pass through the electron transport chain but are passed on the pigment of photo system 1 now electron transport excited they transfer their electron towards the photo system 1 simultaneously electron in the reaction center of ps1 are also excited when they receive red light or wavelength of if we give 700 wavelength of light their electron already excited this electron come from electrotransport one electron come from this side and other 
excitation come from this and here they also excited already so also promote their electron so ps1 photosystem 1 excited and they transfer to another acceptor molecule that has a greater redox potential they passes their electron to other electron transporter and they finally produce nadph plus h plus energy molecule that's all about this and this is the z scheme why look at here this manner again this manner and this manner here 680 680 excited and they transport their electron to electron transport system here 700 700 activated this is that scheme yeah splitting of water here is the role of water they promote their electron yeah this is the reaction this is the reaction how one molecule of water is break how one molecule water is break two electron plus two hydrogen ion if we break two molecules of water then four hydrogen will form and four electron will form and one oxygen molecule form hydrogen electron they contribute contribute in atp formation you can say energy formation in our next video we will discuss about cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation if you understand this cyclation this is the non-cyclic electron goes this direction this direction then this direction but in cyclic rotation of electron here 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 this is the non-cyclic photophosphorylation and this is the cyclic so we will meet in our next video that's all for now thank you thank you for watching me keep smiling and revise pilkul revise karo thank you